Hi guys! Do you know that feeling of spring in the air, flowers are blooming and suddenly you find some dog poop on your front lawn? You can't help wondering who did not clean up after their dog. Today we're going to find out using ESP32 camera with a PIR sensor. We will need the following components. ESP32 cam board and a micro SD card, a lens, external antenna, 220 microfarad capacitor, PIR sensor, a PCB, connector strip, micro USB connector. First let's make a few adjustments to the ESP32 cam board. I want to disable this LED from flashing constantly when the picture is being taken. I will remove one leg of the small transistor and put a sticky tape underneath in case I change my mind later. Second adjustment is to switch from the internal antenna to the external antenna. To do this, this zero ohm resistor needs to be switched from the default position to the left. It is so small, you can hardly see it. After a few attempts, I managed to push it off the board. Then I tried to pick it up, but I ended up dropping it on the carpet and never found it again. But luckily dropping a teeny tiny amount of solder on the two pads solved the problem. Connect the antenna. I will cut this connector strip to size for my PCB. Now let's solder the board. This is the placement of the connectors on the PCB. Cables are soldered at the rear of the PCB. And this is the finished design. I will post the exact positions for each pin on my GitHub page in case you want to follow this tutorial and use the 3D printed box as well. This code was my winter project this year. I wanted the camera to capture pictures if there was motion. Each picture gets a timestamp from an NTP server and is then uploaded to a local FTP server. For a quick start, just search for a keyword to do and update it with your own network parameters. For the picture storage, I am using my 10 year old laptop. I installed Ubuntu on it. I am running it from 9 am to 9 pm every day to receive the pictures. I am using this Python script to organize the files into folders. It is called every day automatically from the cron tab. I am also calling a suspend script to put the computer to sleep and reboot it every day to save on energy bills. My husband designed this lovely 3D printed box for the camera. You can download it from the Thingiverse link below the video. I am using a ball mount from an old mini tripod stand to angle the camera. And this is the final version. It is painted with acrylic paint. The whole belt weighs only 130 grams. I will use this picture hanging strips to mount it. Since mounting the camera, I haven't caught any dog owner leaving their dog waste on our lawn. 
so just having a camera visible definitely helps. Hope you enjoyed this build. Let me know in the comments if you ever had a similar issue. Thanks for watching and see you next time.